this short was intense. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people that go through this situation. Uh, why was this something you wanted to bring to the big screen? Yeah, um, I mean, I think a lot of, I think a lot of, we've had a lot of films about um, survivors of abuse, but very few from the perspective of a male survivor of abuse. Um, it's an experience that I went through and I have had friends go through and I felt like I wanted to make that the film that I finished out um, AFI with. Um, you know, I thought I'd be making a different film when I came to AFI, but then I went through some, an experience much like that of the film and I just thought I have to make something about this. And it was the thing I was feeling the most when I was writing. So that's mainly why. Uh, this main character, uh, he goes through so much and your actor was fantastic in portraying him. Um, how much work uh, went in, into building this character and uh, talking with the actor in order to yeah. make him seem like a real person? I mean, I got very lucky. I had really two really incredible leads um, who were talented actors well before I ever got a chance to work with them. Um, I mean, I think for Chris, it was about, and for both of them, it was creating a space where they felt safe to play those roles is like priority number one. Um, you know, creating an environment where they could feel like they could behave organically in the scene. So, you know, I wasn't someone who said, here's your mark. This is where camera is going to be. It was much more organic. It was much more adapting the camera to them. And that allowed them to have the freedom to give a really authentic performance. Uh, bringing this to Dance with Films. Uh, this is the 25th anniversary of this uh, film festival. Uh, what does that mean to you, uh, especially after you know going through AFI and bringing this film to Dance with Films? Yeah, I mean, I think I wrote something like this when I got selected for Dance with the Films about how much the film's focus on independent film meant a lot to me and that, you know, I I'd, I'd always felt like, like a kinship with the films that don't get seen as much, the films that are more off the beaten path. And to have a festival highlight those films was really awesome. Obviously it's the 25th anniversary, it's their first like full in person since the pandemic. Um, that's like in like a normal year. And so it's like really, it's, and it's, it's an honor to be part of the, the, the wave of festivals that are coming back in person. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it was really exciting. It's also my first like big festival. I've been to a couple small regionals. So this was my first real festival and it's already been a great experience meeting with people um, talking. It's great. Yeah, and did you, did you ever think that this uh, short film would end up being seen at, you know, TCL Chinese theater, the, like, the biggest theater in Hollywood? Yeah, I mean, that's super exciting. Um, it's actually really funny. Um, and there is a special symbolism that I should bring up, which is um, AFI holds its graduation every year at the Chinese theaters in the big the big um, auditorium. And so to be able to bring my thesis film very shortly thereafter to the same place I graduated is really exciting. Um, and you, you mentioned how you went something similar through something similar that this main character went, went through. So watching that on the big screen, how does that feel for you? Well, we'll see. I've only seen, I've only seen on the big screen in the form of a DCP uh, tech screening that I did at, um, at AFI. So it'll be interesting in front of a big audience yet. Um, but I mean, if you, if, if with a story this personal and I've been making it for like almost a year and a half now because of COVID, I'm like kind of over the, the fact that it's, it's personal. It's like, nope, this is just me. This is just the film. Um, and there's a separation. I mean, the character is not me. Um, it's inspired by experiences that I went through, but it is a fictional story. And um, having a little bit of that line between the two, I think is important, both as a filmmaker and also as a person. Uh, I thought this film was, well, this short film was incredible and I would like to see more. Is there any plans for a continuation or expanding this story? That's a really good question because um, it's yes. Um, so, although the short is a full story in in its thirty minutes, it's twenty seven minutes. Um, I have a full bible for a limited series based on this short, where it would be expanded, more characters, more depth, more points of view. Um, and so that is something I'm going out and pitching this as like with the film as the proof of concept. I have a, a limited series I want to make out of it. Okay, so knowing that, um, is there anything you're looking for when you see this with in, with an audience? Is there anything, any reactions you're trying to get from them? 
I mean, I think it'll just be really interesting to see what people laugh or, or kind of go uh, at, you know, I think that is going to be really interesting for me because I haven't seen it with a big audience just with my team. Um, and they've seen it enough that that doesn't have any effect anymore. Um, but I'd be interesting to see like where people like actually audibly make noise, um, like whether they're gasping or they're laughing or how people talk about it at the end. You know, if, I love to overhear little conversations and I'll be curious to see if there's any chitter chatter about it afterwards. Definitely. Well, congratulations on this. It's an amazing project and have fun okay. at this festival and on the red carpet. Thank you, Jesus. I appreciate you taking the time.